Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel and if you happen to be new here, welcome to the Painted South. Okay, so I have been in the house ripping up carpeting, padding, tack strip, all of the one million staples that were holding the padding down and doing a ton of other things. So I'm going to take a break. My husband had an appointment in Columbia today and so I drove him in, dropped him off and I have two to three hours that I'm going to treat myself to a little bit of shopping. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything because I'm not going to be able to use it for just a little while but I thought I might find some stuff maybe on clearance, some things I can make over or maybe use later on in the holiday season. I hope I get to decorate for the fall this year. Everyone else is already decorated for fall. They've already they're doing all of their home tours, but I never decorate this early for fall. It just, it's still really hot here in South Carolina and it just feels very weird. So there's kind of like a period in between summer and fall that you, it's just too hot. It doesn't feel right to decorate for fall, but on YouTube, you kind of have to start early. So I'm not going to be able to do that. We're going to be doing renovations and so forth, but if I see anything that I love, I'm going to go ahead and get it. I just, I have not been shopping for months and months and months, and I'm going to treat myself a little bit today. I've been working really hard around the house, so if I find anything, I will share that with you. So for the first part of this haul, I'm going to show you what I got at the Dollar Tree, but I first wanted to show you how adorable these little birds were. They were taking baths in this pothole puddle in the parking lot. So adorable. All right, so first from the Dollar Tree, I picked up two of their pumpkin wreath forms. You may remember last year I used a thicker pumpkin wreath form from Hobby Lobby to make this ribbon-covered pumpkin wreath. I'll link that tutorial in case you're interested in the description box below. I also picked up three packages of burlap leaves in three different colors. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to get to use these this year, but they'll be nice to have in my stash for future projects. I also picked up a wood turkey cutout and two of the maple leaf cutouts. Now I have a really cute idea for these. If I don't have time to complete them this year, I'll put them in my stash and save them for next year also. Okay, and now on to Walmart. Now it's no secret that I love wearing false eyelashes and this time of year they have really fun ones available for Halloween. Of course, I'll wear them for every day because my natural lashes are almost non-existent. So I love wearing false eyelashes. So if you want to have some fun either for dress up or for every day, check Walmart. Next, I picked up this whole cinnamon to use in either stovetop potpourri or in my fall decorations. There are many different types of cinnamon, including Ceylon and Casia, but aesthetically, I love this one for all of its texture. Next, from Walmart, I could not resist these yummy candles from Better Homes and Gardens. I picked up the scents in Farm Apple and Pumpkin and Pumpkin and Chai. Now, sometimes to me, candles can have a very overbearing and fake aroma, but so far I've really been enjoying these around the house. I also grabbed these flannel sheets for our guests. I thought they were perfect for fall and winter because of their neutral color scheme and of course that warm and cozy factor. They do have other patterns to choose from and I may go back and get one for the Christmas season. All right, so when we moved, I knew I wanted to get an all new set of dishes. I wanted a really, really nice set and a new set of glassware as well. But right now we needed a basic set. So in the meantime, I went ahead and picked up this set from Better Homes and Gardens at Walmart. I think that they're simple enough to go with any decor style and you receive a free one year subscription to the Better Homes and Gardens magazine. 
What I really like about this set is that there is an edge or a lip on the outside of the plate. And in my opinion, especially when you're having some type of holiday dinner, it's really nice to have that extra help in keeping all of the sauces and juices on your plate. One thing I do want to mention is that the finish does have some small flaws in it. It's not a huge deal for me because these are just our everyday dinnerware, but there are little spots and specks and imperfections in the finish. Next, I scored these large plastic planters on clearance in the outdoor living section of Walmart for $4 each. I'm going to be doing a makeover on all of these, but they are fine as is if they match your decor. You can go see if you can find some. Now only the large ones were on clearance. There were smaller versions of these, but they were not on sale. So you may just want to check your local Walmart and see what they have available. I also popped into a local Goodwill and they didn't have very much, but I did find this paper towel holder, which I actually was looking for one just like it, and it was only $5.97. And I grabbed four of these heavy duty trash bins for only $2.50 each. These will come in handy around our house right now. My visit to Carolina Pottery was cut really short, so I'm going to be going back probably this weekend. The only item that I purchased there was this large rooster. Now, I've been searching for roosters and hens, and this wasn't exactly what I wanted, but I liked the size and shape. I am definitely going to be giving it a finished makeover. I like the white chippy look, but it's leaning more towards farmhouse, and I want to take it in a different direction. Now on to Hobby Lobby. I know I did not need any more pumpkins, but I could not resist grabbing these speckly pale green and yellow ones. I just love the soft natural colors of these. Now I'm showing that I got five, but I actually picked up six. Four of them were one color and I got two of the lighter green. I know I already have several of these acorn picks, but I went ahead and grabbed four more. I just love adding them to anything in my fall decor, any type of floral arrangements or wreaths, or just using them by themselves. They look great around anything, tucking them into baskets, so I just went ahead and grabbed some extras. Okay, now I know at first glance you're probably like, why did you buy those? But I love these Robert Stanley pumpkins, especially the curly stems. The color, not so much. It will look great with some people's decor, this kind of silvery pewter color. But for me, I got them for the shape and size and I'll be giving them a painted makeover. And lastly, I saw these little birds, which were 50% off this week. Now I like the color, however, I also purchased them to paint in a different finish. I'm not sure where I'm going to use them right now, but I really like them. So I went ahead and got them. And then when I decide where they're going to be, I will paint them and I'll share that tutorial with you as well. So I hope you enjoyed my retail therapy shopping haul. I may have a part two to this coming up if I can get out this weekend. I wanted to go back to Carolina Pottery and see what else they had in that store. It was really big, so I wanted to go back and look around some more. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired?